right friends welcome back to why and how for 12th week the first one is government announced national health policy 2017 after 15 years government announced national health policy here the public expenditure on health as percentage of gdp is expected to increase from 1.15% at present to 2.5% by 2025 another important aspect is here it stresses on preventive health care by engaging the private sector to offer health care services and at the same time out of pocket expenditure in the overall expenditure in our country out of pocket expenditure is around 65% to 70% and the new national health policy wants to reduce out of pocket expenditure by 25% by 2025 so 25% this out of pocket expenditure will be reduced by 2025 right and another important aspect please look into this it will end kala azar as well as filariasis by 2017 most important is tuberculosis by 2025 this is the real challenge and another important aspect is sanitation and water supply to be provided by 2020 that is going to be another challenge so eliminating tuberculosis by 2025 is also another challenge right look into the next one indian army has conducted joint exercises with 18 countries in the last 3 years and this is to further strategic cooperation and some of the recent exercises and their names i have given here surya kiran exercises between india and nepal and recently held at pithodagar in uttarakhand this al naga to exercises were between india and oman they were held at a place called baklo in himachal pradesh then vajra prahar exercises these are between india and usa please don't forget at the same time please don't forget malabar exercises are between three countries india usa and japan and between india and singapore world kurukshetra exercises were held and they were held at babina firing range recently right so when someone talks about surya kiran between india and nepal malabar india usa japan vajra prahar india and usa al naga to exercises between india and oman bold kurukshetra between india and singapore these things please don't forget and as per the reply given in parliament the indian army has conducted joint exercises with 18 countries in the last 3 years look into the next one niti ayog has formed a committee to prepare a modal contract forming law and you may have a doubt what is meant by modal contract forming or you can say what is meant by contract forming contract forming is the institutional arrangement between farmers and the purchasers or processors or exporters so this is the institutional arrangement well in advance that the specific quantum of particular commodity like wheat or maybe rice or tomatoes or potatoes they will be purchased at a predetermined price and for a specified period of time right so this is contract forming and niti ayog formed a committee to prepare contract forming because of contract forming two things are very very important one is it will realize better price realization and reduction of post harvest losses for the farmers this is one most important aspect the post harvest losses will be reduced and farmers can realize better price exploitation will be reduced another important aspect is it will give boost to the food processing industry right so these two aspects please don't forget when you look at this contract forming 2016 is the worst year for syrian children and 
when you look at the difficulties faced in Syria because of civil war, please don't forget one particular organization that is White Helmets. It is a voluntary non-governmental organization which is working in Syria. The name of the organization is White Helmets. It is working in the areas affected by civil war in Syria. The other important aspect is across the world, one organization is there. Medicines Sans Frontiers, if I am not wrong, the meaning is Doctors Without Borders that is working in several countries across the world to give medical assistance to the people affected. And if you see the statistics in Syria, this immunization dropped from 80% prior to the conflict in 2011 to 41% in 2015. And in Syria, 85% of the Syrians are living below the poverty line. See the after effect of this civil war in Syria. And by the by, please look at the Syria map. Borders may be asked in examinations. Syria has got long borders with the Turkey on one side, Iraq on the other side and it has also got borders with Jordan and here this is the Golan Heights and this is Israel. Israel occupied the Golan Heights. Now part of Golan Heights is in Israel's control and Lebanon another border and Syria has got border with the Mediterranean Sea. So, Syria borders are very, very important because Syria is into the news in recent times. So, if someone is talking about Golan Heights, this Golan Heights was occupied by Israel probably somewhere in 1960s in the war. Then there are news reports that Islamic State resorted to the use of chemical weapons in Mosul. Human Rights Watch reported that they used vesicants or blister agents. This chemical weapon is into the news in recent times because by using chemical weapon, North Korean leader was killed recently and this is Mosul. Mosul is the city in Iraq. In Iraq also, Islamic State presence is there along with Syria. So, Syria and Iraq have got a long border and Islamic State occupied vast swaths of land in both the Syria and Iraq. So, these things do not forget and if you go further, weapons we can categorize into conventional weapons, weapons of mass destruction, conventional weapons or fire bombs, cluster bombs, missiles, rocket shells. These are all examples of conventional weapons. The biggest problem is with weapons of mass destruction, this nuclear weapons biological weapons, chemical weapons, radiological weapons. These are all known as weapons of mass destruction. If you look at the chemical weapons, these are examples of chemical weapons. Mustard gas, serine, taboon, VX agent. So, these are all examples of this chemical weapons. There is one convention that is chemical weapons convention which was entered into force in 1997. And this is monitored by the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons with the headquarters at The Hague. And as per the convention, the four goals include destroying all the chemical weapons under international verification. That is the first goal. But unfortunate aspect is chemical weapons are available both with the governments as well as non-state actors. Governments means there is a suspicion that North Korea has got chemical weapons as well as Syria has got chemical weapons. And you may have a doubt what is meant by non-state actors. Non-state actors or terrorist organizations like Islamic State. So, there are chemical weapons with Islamic State also. Look into the next one. British Prime Minister Theresa May got the parliamentary approval from both the houses of parliament. The parliament of UK, please do not forget, it is situated in Westminster Palace. The place is Westminster and the lower house is 
House of Commons, Upper Houses, House of Lords and Article 50 was passed by the Parliament. You may have a doubt, this Article 50, what purpose? The purpose of Article 50 is to come out of European Union in Brexit. It was decided that UK will come out of European Union and to start the process, this Article 50 was passed by Parliament and within 24 months, UK can come out of European Union. So, this Article 50 pertains to Lisbon Treaty. Please don't forget, Lisbon Treaty gives the modalities how to come out of European Union through this Article 50. Now, this Article 50 is passed by UK Parliament and now within two years, UK will come out of European Union. By the by, there are four regions of UK and Scotland is asking for probably independence. It may go for referendum by 2018 or 2019. Right. Professor G. N. Sai Baba was convicted under Unlawful Activities Prevention Act 1967. So, there is one act, Unlawful Activities Prevention Act 1967 and critics say that it has been used to erode the civil liberties and silent dissent. Right. So, it allows for detention of suspects up to 180 days without a charge sheet. Look into the next one. Environment Ministry identified 56,825 square kilometers of the Western Ghats as ecologically sensitive area. It spans across six states, very, very important. And this indicates mining activities, major construction activities, highly polluting industries are prohibited from operating in the ecologically sensitive area. Please look into this, Western Ghats, as per the notification, it involves six states and Western Ghats runs through six states starting from Tamil Nadu right up to Gujarat and please do not forget, Western Ghats are among one of the world's 10 biodiversity hotspots and these are one of India's world heritage sites, Anaimudi, this is the tallest peak. And another important aspect is average elevation is 1200 meters and please read these two things before understanding the government's notification. Please look at Madhav Kadgil committee and Kasturi Rangan committee and I have given the difference. Please go through them because it is important from the examination perspective. Recently a lake in Melbourne. Melbourne is in Australia, it turned pink color. The lake turned pink color in Melbourne. Melbourne is in Australia. Please look at Australia map. There are important cities, Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra, Perth. These are important cities of Australia. And let us come back to the point. This lake turned pink because of single celled algae because of single celled algae that produced pink pigment. That is why this lake turned this color of pink. And when you are talking about Australia, one point please do not forget, Great Barrier Reef which was badly destroyed this year because of rays or warming up of sea temperatures. Next one is, the Sugar Mills Association stated that center should not permit import of sugar. In this context, one important point I would like to tell you, in the sugar cane production during the year 2016-17, Uttar Pradesh topped. Previously, Maharashtra used to be number one. Now, Uttar Pradesh became number one in sugar cane production and this year, Sugar production is expected to be around 20 million tons only. Our requirement is around 24 million tons, but we have the inventory of around 8 million tons at the beginning. So, there may not be any problem this year, but orderly flow of sugar across the country must be ensured and the panic must be removed. 
look into the next one on march 10 the installed solar power capacity in india crossed 10000 megawatt for the first time and please don't forget by 2022 we have to reach 1 lakh megawatt we have to reach 1 lakh megawatt by 2022 only 5 years is left over and we crossed just 10000 megawatt and within the next 15 months it is expected to be 20,000 megawatt, but the task ahead is quite Herculean task. We have to reach 1 lakh megawatt by 2022, right? Overall, renewable energy target for the country is 1 lakh 75,000 megawatt by 2022, out of which 1 lakh megawatt pertains to solar power. The National Testing Service, you may have a doubt. What is meant by national testing service? This national testing service will be the nodal authority to conduct various examinations in future. And at present, CBSE, AICTE like organizations are conducting various competitive examinations for admission to various courses. And in the union budget of 2017-18, National testing service was announced, NTS was announced and from now onwards examinations will be conducted from 2018 onwards it will conduct this national entrance examination for technical institutions or NITI. So NITI as well as NEET, NEET is for admission to medical as well as dental courses. So NITI for engineering, NEET for medical and NITI as well as NEET will be conducted by National Testing Service. Please don't forget, National Testing Service will be the nodal authority for conducting various examinations. NITI for engineering courses, NEET for medical courses, right? Look into the next one. Tokyo has more than two jobs per applicant. One application, but two jobs are available. And what is the reason for this? The reason is, please look into this. This is India. This is Japan. This is the demographic pattern of our population. There are more young population. This first one is 0 to 4. Next 5 to 9 age group. Next 10 to 14 age group. So, the young people in our country are quite high. If you look at Japan, Young people are less, but older people are more. Middle-aged people and older people are more in Japan. That's why this problem arose. That's why India is termed as the country with the demographic dividend. The population is in our favor. Good education, good health will bring up the productivity of the country because the demographic dividend is quite good in our country. Or you can say the country is blessed with demographic dividend. It is not the case with Japan. That's why here one person is available for two jobs in Tokyo. Right? So, please look into the next one. Electronic coating machines were dragged into controversy with allegations of tampering of EVMs. But the government says, as well as experts says, that these are standalone machines. Standalone machines means they are not networked with the other voting machines or they are not networked with any other thing. So, they are standalone, they are isolated, you can say, they cannot be tampered with, right? Look into the next one. Recently, a Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter jet was crashed and puts into focus the safety of Sukhoi jets. Indian Air Force has lost at least 7 out of 240 Sukhoi jets it has inducted till now. And please don't forget. Sukhoi origin is Russia. India has contracted 272 Sukhois from Russia for over 12 billion dollars and the bulk of them were manufactured with the license from Russia by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. 
and the Sukhoi fleet is likely to be grounded for systematic precautionary checks. And quite frequently, this Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter jet crashes or into the news. And if you look at the next news item, India and Russia signed two long-term support agreements for Sukhoi 30 MKI combat aircraft fleet. Pacts were signed for maintenance and life cycle support for other Russian platforms also. And let us recollect the Russian platforms. One is Mi-17 helicopters. This is T-90 tanks, MiG-29K, then INS Vikramaditya. This INS Vikramaditya, which is the only aircraft carrier we have now. These are the origin of Russia or you can say these are originally either manufactured or manufactured with a license in our country. Basically, the country of origin is Russia, please do not forget. And if you look at others, these are very important from examination perspective. Amphibious US-2, this is Japan, please do not forget. Amphibious US-2, this belongs to Japan. Hovitzer M777, Poseidon 8i, Chinook helicopters, Apache helicopters, this belongs to America, please do not forget. Hobbitger M777, Poseidon 8i, Chinook, Apache, they belongs to America and Kamo KA-22060, Russia, S-400 Triumph defense system, this is Russia. At the same time, nuclear submarine INS Chakra, this also belongs to Russia. Here, we discussed about certain Russian origin defense entities like Mi-17, T-90 tanks, MiG-29K, INS Vikramaditya. Now, we are talking about some others, that is Kamo KA-22060, S-400 Triumph, nuclear submarine INS Chakra, they belongs to Russia and American, I have already told you, Hovitzer M777, Poseidon 8i, Chinook, Apache and when you look at France, Rafale fighter jets, Rafale fighter jets, government recently concluded an agreement to purchase Rafale fighter jets from France, then Dassault Mirage 2000 belongs to France, then Kalashnikov weapons belongs to Israel. So, these things please do not forget. Stagella founder Yogendra Vosupal was arrested. He was arrested on charges of cheating and intimidation arising out of unpaid dues to a Chennai based advertising company and it is detrimental to the startup initiative as per the experts. Government says that 35 posts in NAT grid are vacant. Here the important aspect is what is meant by NAT grid. NAT grid is National Intelligence Grid. It is the ambitious project conceived by the previous UPA government after Mumbai terror attacks in 2008. And what is the purpose of NAT grid? You may have a doubt. NAT grid basically stores sensitive personal information on citizens from almost two dozen agencies to be made available for counter terror investigations. Basic thing is, it will maintain the database and that database will be made available for counter terror investigations. But there is a feeling that not grid posts are not being filled. The progress on the operationalization of NAT grid is not satisfactory. Vodafone idea decided to merge to create the country's largest telecom giant. Idea is of Kumar Mangalam Birla led telecommunication major. Vodafone is headquartered in United Kingdom and once merger takes place, that will be the largest telecom entity in the country. 35% customer market share, 41% revenue market share. But the overall debt of the telecom firms is the biggest cause of worry for telecom companies. Here Vodafone idea, then Airtel with the Telenor. This merger, please do not forget, and Reliance Geo is the new entrant. These things, please do not forget. 113th Indus Water Commission meeting was held in Pakistan, and 
Kishan Ganga and Ratley were not discussed. The meeting was held after 22 months and there were several objections by Pakistan with regard to Kishan Ganga as well as Ratley and World Bank is also signatory to Indus Water Treaty which was signed on 19th September 1960. So, this all of you are familiar with Western Rivers for Pakistan, Eastern Rivers for India. So, total if you look at the Indus River system as a whole, 80 percent is given to Pakistan. Sometimes it caused some sort of dissatisfaction to Jammu and Kashmir people also. Some important amendments were made to the finance bill. Finance bill was passed, came into force from 1st April. Aadhaar is made mandatory for declaring income tax returns from 1st July 2017. And at the same time, PAN card will be linked with Aadhaar. That is another important aspect. Eight tribunals were merged with some existing tribunals. Then limit on cash transactions for a single payment is reduced to rupees 2 lakh from the earlier thought of 3 lakh figure and companies can make donations to political parties now without any limit and at the same time they need not disclose the name of the political parties to which they are contributing. This came under lot of criticism. Next one is Union Cabinet approved proposals with regard to fund of funds for startups. Please do not forget, government initially announced there will be fund of funds with a corpus of rupees 10,000 crore. SIDB will maintain that. These things please do not forget. You may have a doubt. What is the purpose of fund of funds? Fund of funds is altogether different mechanism to support startup companies. And here they do not directly invest in startup companies. Meanwhile, they will invest in some alternative investment funds so as to reduce the risk because the investments in startup firms will have a lot of risk. So, as to reduce that risk, this fund of funds mechanism is devised. Fund of funds mechanism is basically they invest in some alternative investment fund and in turn alternative investment funds by utilizing their brain, they will invest in startup companies. Look into the next one. Pakistan decided to make Gilgit the Baltistan a province which is not acceptable for us. The population is around 20 lakhs, majority of them are Shia and this Gilgit Baltistan region is famous for tourism, trekking and mountaineering and this is Gilgit Baltistan. At the same time, this is Pakistan occupied Kashmir and these two regions sometimes loosely called as POK region, technically speaking, both are POK region only because both of them are occupied by Pakistan. And these are sovereign territories of India as per the accession of Maharaja. So, India's objection is, in fact, the CPEC corridor is passing through this Gilgit-Baltistan region and that is not acceptable to us. Look into the next one. Before going ahead, one important aspect is why Gilgit-Baltistan is important. It is important from Pakistan's perspective because it is the only land link between Pakistan and China. And why it is important from our viewpoint? It is important from our perspective because it is a sovereign territory of India and it is an integral part of undivided Jammu and Kashmir. And you may have a doubt, why is it being made province now? It is being made province now because China wanted it. That particular region, China wanted it as a separate province because this 46 billion dollar CPEC is passing through Gilgit Baltistan region, right? So, because of pressure from China, now it is being proposed as a province. Then, Grapes 3 experiment is being expanded. This Grapes 3 experiment of this. Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. This is basically cosmic ray laboratory 
in ut that is being upgraded you may have a doubt why it is being upgraded basically to detect the effect of solar storms right so to detect the solar storms this is being expanded please look into this grips 3 means gamma ray astronomy pev energy surface 3 so it is designed to study cosmic rays or high energy radiation mainly originating from outside the solar system this is being upgraded basically it will detect the solar storms in a better way right so this grapes 3 experiment is promoted by tata institute of fundamental research and some japanese universities Scientists using the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator have discovered a new system of five particles in a single analysis. And here CERN, please don't forget, CERN, India became associate member. CERN is world's largest nuclear and particle physics laboratory and headquarters is in Geneva. India recently became associate member, that is one news. The other aspect is Large Hadron Collider. This is situated with CERN and Particle Accelerator. You can say this Large Hadron Collider is a particle accelerator and they provide energetic particles to investigate the structure of atomic nucleus. Right? So, you may have a doubt. What is meant by subatomic particles? All of you are familiar with the atoms. Atoms consist of particles called neutrons and protons. But the point is, neutrons and protons in turn are made up of small particles called quarks. Right? So, please look into this. These neutrons and protons, if you take helium atom, they are consisting of subatomic particles which are known as quarks. So, the research pertaining to these type of particles is what we are discussing now, which are known as subatomic particles. And the scientists at CERN identified five subatomic particles. Right? Look into the next one. Researchers from Netherlands, they developed a new wireless internet based on infrared rays. It is 100 times faster than existing Wi-Fi and it has a capacity of more than 40 gigabits per second and does away with the need to share Wi-Fi as every device gets its own ray of light. So, once it becomes a reality, sharing of Wi-Fi is not required by the various users, right? So, this is visible light, this is infrared so, it uses infrared rays, right? So, the current Wi-Fi uses radio signals with a frequency of 2.5 to 5 gigahertz and the new system uses infrared light with wavelengths of 1500 nanometers and higher, right? Ganga Yamuna were declared as living persons by Uttarakhand High Court and here from examination perspective, please don't forget one river in New Zealand was declared as living entity. The name of the river is Wanganui. For the first time in the world, Wanganui River was declared as a legal entity and this river is in fact revered by Maori tribe in New Zealand. What is the meaning of legal entity? Just like companies, they can be represented at legal proceedings to protect their interests. And on similar way, in India, for the first time, Ganga and Emuna were declared as living persons by Uttarakhand High Court. So, if some pollution takes place, they can be represented, that means, as a living entity, this Ganga, Emuna can sue persons associated with that, right? The Southern Bench of National Green Tribunal suspended the environmental clearance granted to India-based Neutrino Observatory. This Neutrino, Neutrino Observatory is to come up in Thane district of Tamil Nadu and in Bodhi Hills. And this is the brainchild of uh, APJ Abdul Kalam. And this is within 5 kilometers range of uh, Mathiketan Shola National Park. Please don't forget Mathiketan Shola National Park. 
this is in Idukki district of Kerala and Kerala border is just a kilometer away and as per the guidelines if the project falls within 5 kilometers from the interstate boundary or within a notified national park or sanctuary it has to be considered as category A project with more stipulations right. So, here it involves a number of processes before an environmental clearance is granted. So, now it requires clearance from national board for wildlife also because of the reason this Mathikat and Shola national park is within 5 kilometers. So, what are neutrinos? Neutrinos are fundamental particles which make up the universe and they are electrically neutral. Please do not forget. Right friends, we deliberated several issues in today's why and how. So, please do join for other capsules. Have a nice day. Thank you.